Hey, welcome back to Bed Squared. This is part four of trigonometry and we're gonna be problem solving using trig. Coming up. Sometimes it's difficult or even impossible to measure angles, heights and distances directly. Suppose you are in a boat at sea. You look up at a mountain in front of you and you wonder how high is it? You have no way of measuring the height directly, but what you can do is measure the angle from the horizontal to the top of the mountain. So you make two measurements from points A and B, which are 300 meters apart in a direct line with the mountain. Things to think about. How could you use these measurements to estimate the mountain's height? B, how accurate would you expect your estimate to be? And part C. Is there a mathematical method for calculating the height of the mountain to greater accuracy? So that's what we're going to be exploring in today's video. So stick around and I'll show you a way in which we can solve this problem using trig and simultaneous equations. Okay, so if we look at this diagram, we have the height of the mountain, we have the hypotenuse, the adjacent, because my angles are here, and then the opposite length. I know from point A to B is 300 meters, but what I don't know is from point B to C. So what I can do is I could just label that x meters. So in this problem, I know that I have to find out the opposite and I'm gonna be using some part of the adjacent. So I can select tan theta to equal opposite of it adjacent. Okay, so the problem is I have two unknowns. I have h, which is the height of the mountain, and I've introduced x, which is the distance between b and c. So what I can do is I can say tan theta, or tan 37 in this case, is equal to the opposite, which is the height, divided by adjacent, which is 300 plus x. So that's equation one. Equation two, if I look at this smaller triangle, I've got tan 41, because that's my angle of elevation from the horizontal, which is equal to the opposite, h over x, and x is my adjacent. So if I label that equation one and equation two, so what I have now is a system of equations that I can solve simultaneously. I would link in the cards above the videos to how to solve simultaneous equations using the substitution and the elimination method. And you can find the links in the description below. Okay, so I can rearrange the equations. Um, I have 300 plus x multiplied by tan 37 is equal to h. All I've done there is I multiplied both sides by 300 plus x. For my second equation, you can see if I multiply the denominator on both sides, I get x times tan 41 is equal to h. Now I've still just call that equation one, equation two. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna substitute equation two into equation one. So I know that h is equal to x times tan 41. So this h here in equation one, I'm gonna replace it with x tan 41. So here you can see 300 plus x multiplied by tan 37 is equal to x times tan 41. Okay, so carrying on, if I expand 300 plus x with tan 37, I get 300 times tan 37 plus x times tan 37 is all equal to x times tan 41. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract x times tan 37 from both sides. And then if I take out x as a common factor, I can write 300 times tan 37 is equal to x times tan 41 minus tan 37. Final step, I can rearrange this by saying, therefore, x is equal to 300 times tan 37, all divided by tan 41 minus tan 37. And if I do that on my calculator, I will get x is equal to approximately 1,953 meters. Okay, so that gives us the value of x. We still need to work out the height of the mountain. So what we can do is we can substitute the value of x into equation 2. And just to remind you, equation two is tan 41 is equal to h over x. Now, if I move the x onto the left-hand side, I have 1,953 times tan 41. And so using my calculator, the height is approximately 1,698 meters. So I can write a statement that the height of the mountain is about 1,700 meters. So remember, this is part four in trigonometry. If you need help in working out this problem, then go back and watch parts one, two, and three. So as always, thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, drop me a like. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. And consider subscribing for more math videos.
and I'll see you in the next one.